Hello, my friends. Green Energy here. Welcome on back for more Dark Souls 2. Where we left off, we took care of the Dragon Shrine. We ended up skipping the optional boss that we didn't have to fight, and now we're already prepared to go take on the Memories of the Giants. Now, there are three memories that you don't have to do in any particular order. What I do is recommend going for the giant that has the boss battle in it last. So we're going to come out through the destroyed wall. We're just going to ignore all these dudes. They're not going to give us many souls, and at this point in the game we would demolish them anyways. Then turn right. that guy and then examine the tree before when we did this it actually didn't do anything but now that we have that item that the dragon gave us at the end of the last episode we can venture into the memories of the giants Memory of Bamar. So we actually can't stay within the memory very long, so you do have to keep on the move to make sure that you're getting everything. Um, what was behind this one? You're the one causing all the racket. So these the giants. The one for our bar our wow, English, our boss battle is actually gonna be way bigger than that guy was. They're pretty small giants compared to our boss. So we'll grab the fire seed, and now we can come around outside. Try to see if we can get just one to come after us. Whoa. I'm nervous. All right. Good way to start. All right, so maybe for our next run in there, we'll grab items but not necessarily worry about the giants. Because they can kick your butt. But I don't want to just skip the ones that don't have a boss in it or all of them together. Uh, I don't believe we have to do these areas in order to get to the last boss. But we want to get the most out of our experience. So Let's see if we can examine it without even taking these guys out. Does not look like it also might be because of this dark spirit. Why did you spawn in, buddy? Was there a rhyme or reason for it? We're going to kick your butt anyways. Says the guy who keeps getting hit. Just in case. Alright. Consume a few of these. should note that with the three memories, they're all um, surrounding that bonfire we came from. None of them being too far away from it. So we'll take out that first giant. 
if he's going to be a hindrance, which he is. What, you just going to run away now? Fine. Okay, let's grab those souls. So it looks like when they do um, uh, certain moves, they can disrupt your movements. You can see the, the hollows and the giants are not buddies. That one is closer to the, the boss battle. Let's grab this before we head inside. Sure, if I was going to regret that or not. Alright, there is an item down there. I'm feeling like we can grab that. So let's go do that. Please just let me grab it and go. I want nothing to do with you. Alright, got away a little clean. Hello. Once we're up here, once you grab the soul of the giant, you might have to kill this guy. I'm nervous. I am very nervous. So what we're trying to do is to get to the giant that is dead already at the end. That is the memory that we're in. Once you grab the soul, it should teleport you out. There we go. Alright, so there's the first memory. Our second one is going to be just past where we fought the Pursuer. So we're going to head on back. Actually, we might go this way. Because we are sitting pretty okay with Estus. I think we can handle it. Ignore these guys. Just remember how much damage they used to do to us versus what they do now. It is crazy how much it changes. Might regret not killing them. Should be a very similar cutscene. Now we're heading into this giant's memory. For our third and last giant, we're definitely going to be making a stop at the bonfire first. Here's the memory of Oro. can't actually remember this one very much, or very well. Um, I distinctly remember the boss's memory. Alright, not cool. That could have been very embarrassing.
Alright, I'm wondering if we should have checked the bottom first. Guys, just do your thing. Ah, that's the giant. Don't want to head out yet. Wondering if there's anything we can get up here. Looks like there's an item over there. Dark Souls 2 tracking arrows, I tell ya. That was close. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Finish that memory. Grab our souls. And then finish the rest of this. I was thinking there might be a small chance that we could get the rest of the game finished with this episode, but it is looking like the next episode is going to be more likely. We don't need the king ring right this second. One is our restoration. Not something I recommend doing. It's trying to fumble through your rings while you're supposed to be playing. That's what I wanted. So we got hit once there. And all three of these guys followed us all the way up. Might as well go up and check everything out since we know that the other side is actually where the ending is. much of anything up here. our souls and then we are out of here we 
you just do your thing, my friend. Alright, I'm going to be extra cautious with health this time, since last time we did not have a good day. for the herb. That's not good. Both of these guys could attack us when we're trying to get the soul, so... Except for he is all derpy. I'm not sure what he's up to. Alright. Now we should be able to head back to the bonfire. Then we'll go take on our next boss, which is going to be our technically second to last a chain of bosses, because this one's going to be just one boss that we're fighting. But then our next one, oh, no, I'm not thinking about it. Uh, but those last bosses are all in a sequence. Where we technically are going to fight three bosses during the course of one battle. But there's actually a bonfire over here we can grab. friends. Not cool. So here, we're going to want that king ring back on. That's going to open the gate right behind this knight. Now it's time to fight him. Especially since now he's a piece of cake. Now we can open the gate, get a bonfire, I think there's an item we can grab right here. There's actually a fourth dead giant in an optional area that we're not going to worry about because you can't enter that one's memory. I'll we'll have to use this uh, homeward bone to get back to the bonfire, which it actually might take us to the last one we rested at, because I forgot to rest at this one. Nope, it took us to this one. So we'll rest, get our health and Estus back, and then go to our last giant memory. This memory is the smallest, but also has the boss battle in it. Because we can't even go out that way. We actually have to come out through the boss fog. And then keep an eye on your left catapult shooting fireballs are trying to kill you good thing is, it's actually handy for getting rid of the giants on the way to the boss. If we come out a little bit, we're actually going to get the statue that's going to try to kill us. We'll see if that will actually take care of the giants. Got one of them.
catapult, got the other. So now we can grab our items on the way to the boss. The boss is not super tough. He's a lot like the very first boss we had in this game, which was the last giant, I believe his name was. That one might hit me. Um, obviously a little bit stronger and not as decayed. And had some mistiming there. We'll have time for one more shot. If I die again, we'll have to wrap up. Alright. This one might go a little longer than 25. Depends on how long and how many more tries it takes for me to kill this guy. Probably partially what did it for me last time. So these do a ton of damage. Let's see if we can get the statue head to help us out. Here it comes. If you stay to the right, it won't hit you. You can also back up like I did that first time. This time, let's wait for those before we go charging in. So he's going to use his sword, and if you stay near his feet, he is going to stomp like he did last time. He's got to dodge both of them. Really isn't too tough. If you need a heal, you just got to have great footing. Unlike I did last time. safe. And that will take care of the giant lord. The giant's kinship and his soul. Don't forget the fire seed up here. Missed that item right there. Let's wait for catapult. like an old Radiant Life Gem, and then right here I think one of the giants dropped the Titanite Shard. And that will wrap up the memories. For the sake of time for our next episode, I'll go ahead and check with Strayed, and then spend what souls we have left before we go take on our last few bosses. As long as I can do well on those bosses, our next episode will be our last. Hopefully I have better luck than I did with our Dark Souls 1 playthrough, where I fought the last boss a million times. So we'll buy it, 
won't be able to use it. You never know. Get a dragon bone. I highly doubt we're gonna be able to upgrade our sword, but doesn't hurt to check. Alright, so I am going to put all of my stats towards endurance. We'll go ahead and wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. Let me know what you enjoyed in the comments. And if you want to see more stuff like this, please subscribe. Continue being good people and spread positive vibes. Take care.